Hey there, welcome back. Thanks for joining me. I have Matilda here. Matilda, say hi. I hope you don't mind. She's come to uh, hang out during our chat, um, but she is chewing her new favorite little chew toy. So I hope that's not obnoxious during our chat. I don't know if it's gonna pick up. Mm. Oh my goodness. This has been a week. Let me tell you, <laughs> it is hilarious in our, uh, hilarious and not in our household right now. Still because uh, uh, <clears throat> my wife broke her foot. She fractured her foot and therefore she had to have this uh, like immediate surgery. And because it was, fluid was coming out and it was creating a cyst and they thought it was going to explode and her, oh man, it was, it was bad. So she has this immediate surgery, but she still crutches, can't put weight bearing on it, uh, scooting on her butt uh, type of thing. So she's got that immobility going on. I <clears throat> have uh, my right leg, just it decides day to day what it's going to do. Some days it allows me to hobble on it and, and shuffle. And some days it doesn't allow me to put any weight on it. It just collapses. So I don't know from day to day what, what my... And I'm, um, my fatigue level is, is, uh, is really off the charts right now. Um, I don't know exactly what that's coming from, but it is, it is, as I said, it's, it's quite, uh, it's quite insane in our household <clears throat> as we're trying to get around. And so this, this week, uh, uh, I went to the pain management clinic, which was really awesome, um, because as I said, I have not uh, uh, been able to experience any relief from this rib because it just won't heal. So they gave me, they put a shot in my back. Oh my God, it was the most amazing thing. So they told me it was gonna be temporary. They said, you know, it, it, it might only last like even eight hours, but we wanna do this because we can give you relief and then maybe you can just get some sleep, right? All I had planned on was <clears throat> they were gonna give me that shot and I was just gonna go home and take a nap because I could lay in any position. Right now, I can't lay on my sides. I, if I lay flat, it's, it's uh, no matter what I do, every time I breathe, I'm in pain. So that day was so glorious. And it was the middle of the week and it's a really rough week. Mentally, it's a really rough week because I'm trying to figure out how to physically be able to participate in my world and to be able to take care of myself and help out in the household. And so a lot of what we spent after I got that shot, it actually lasted 36 hours. Oh my God. <laughs> I, it lasted 36 hours. My friend, I cannot tell you how amazing that is, how wonderful that was, and how sad and awful it was when it wore off yesterday it wore off and it came back like like a freaking hammer oh my gosh but it was it was it was so amazing for that moment unfortunately uh jackson hole is a rural hospital in wyoming and they don't have the ability to be able to actually like go in and put a pain blocker for like long term in uh it was the way it was described to me i can do it when i go back to chicago hopefully um but they wanted to test and see if it actually was the rib giving off the pain or something. I don't know. But whatever shot they gave me, oh, it was fantastic. And it allowed me to come home and try to figure out <clears throat> some hacks as to, you know, how to, I want to be able to, to cook a meal, but I can't use my left arm. And as you can see, you know, the breathing hurts, but I have fatigue simply just because I have cancer. And so I can only take a few steps and then I'm winded and I have to sit down, take a few steps and winded. But what that meant is we were able to figure out, okay, we've got this chair that we put felt on the bottom. We tricked out our kitchen so that we're able to like move around and, 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 uh, and figure it out. And that's kind of this whole week is spent in trying to figure out how to make the best of the situation that I'm in today and what's hard about that and, and the reason that I say it's a real mental game is we've talked about this this is something that I've been uh 
very sadly um, anticipating um, the fact that when my body stops working, when a piece stops working, right? Like I had a, I had a very fortunate life with a body that, that could respond. It could respond to when I pushed it to excel. It could respond when it was injured and it could heal and it healed quickly and it healed well. And I was able to develop strength on top of that, you know? Um, you have to remember, I was I was that person that, that loved to go on my Sunday bike rides and over the course of a decade trained myself to be able to go on 100 mile bike rides on a Sunday and have it be enjoyable and, and be able to walk uh, the, the next day. And, and, you know, um, and today I'm watching my body not be able to stand up. And so it's, it's, you know, it's, as I said, as you can imagine, it is a mind buck when you lose that. But not only that, that's not the, that's not the thing for me. Like, okay, I, I can't walk. So I will figure out how to have a wonderful life around that. But it doesn't just stop there. That's the thing. You're not adjusting to whatever I figured out how to adjust to today is not going to be the same tomorrow. My leg, each and every day I get up and some days I get up and I can put pressure on it. And once I stretch it out and get it to wake it up, I can shuffle. It's kind of like, dra and like dragging it. It's not, you know, but, but I, I can use it and I can use a cane. Some days I get up, I can't put any pressure on it whatsoever. The minute I do, I crumble. I fell down yesterday, the day before, because I was trying to lean over and my leg just, it just stopped working. And that happens quite frequently. So I can't adjust to something that is not staying the same. My level of fatigue changes. Some days, today, Today was a, was a decent day. Today, the, the worst thing was I couldn't get into a comfortable position at all because of the rib. No big deal. But, uh oh, I forgot what we were talking about. Getting used to, getting used to something. But today, the, my fatigue is, is low, but it's not, uh, uh, I mean, it's like medium. Right. But yesterday, oh man, I just, I couldn't even, I could barely stay awake for an hour at a time. It was rough. Right. So how do you adjust to something that's not the same every day? And that's, that's the, that was this week. That, that was the, the mental game of this week of, I have to accept that. I don't know why my leg isn't working. Is it because of the cancer? Is it because of the uh, treatment? Is it because the side effects of the treatment. It's a guessing game. We're all guessing, you know, but we can't treat something that doesn't stay the same also, which is really hard. So I think the, this week has, has, has been a lot of, uh, of breathing and um, accepting that I may, this may not be a situation where I just put in a lot of hard work and, and get something back. It just is. Um, we've been talking about this for months now. I have not had access to my right leg in, since January, if we, if we think about it. Um, which, you know, has been very hard. But this week, uh, because one, I had that blocker, so I had a little bit of that, that, that little bit of relief helped me because it's been a really long time with this rib and it's been a lot of pain and, and thinking that it's never going to heal is such a mind fuck, right? And so, so this week thinking, wait, wait, it can heal. It, it can, like, it, 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 it is possible. I felt it. It, it, was, it was a moment of pain-free. And I might have to get that from other drugs, but I will. There's, there's a way. Uh, <laughs> um, yeah. Yeah, this week has just been 
a lot of accepting that this, my future, um, now is the time that I've lost a lot of weight, lost a lot of energy, lost the ability to be mobile. And I don't know if these things are coming back. Most likely they're not. So I need to, need to accept that and do as much as possible, uh, uh, keeping my mind um, flowing and free, right? I'm fortunately able to read and do my puzzles. And I was able to pull out uh, um, some art this week and got uh, did some really fun molds. So I am very fortunate to be able to fill my time. Um, so I'm not just thinking about all of the loss and the grieving of what is happening and what is going to continue to happen. Mm. Okay. My friend, I'm sorry. I need to cut this short because sitting in the position that I'm in, <laughs> I wish, I wish I could put a, uh, something on here. So every time I move, I like feel like crunch, crunch, like clunk, clunk, clunk. Uh, <laughs> it's just not healing. Okay. Next Sunday. I will be in Chicago, so we will chat from there. I have a big week this week. I'm super nervous about it because how am I going to travel? My wife uh, cannot, and um, I have not been able to travel without assistance in six months, so um, <laughs> I am a bit nervous this week, uh, but I do need to go back. I have a ton of appointments uh, next week pain management clinic to talk about the leg and this hopefully find some relief in both um i think i think then it's just pop it in for uh, my monthly checkup it's so nice not to go to the to the doctor's office every week although i shouldn't say that i've been going to the er every week <laughs> oh no <coughs> don't laugh oh <laughs> Okay, <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna let you go because I need to do some breathing to get out of this. All right, my friend, I will see you next Sunday.